Okay, so I wanted to talk about this really quick before I have to take a shower. I have to go to the dentist today, which is, that's giving me anxiety really bad. Um, anyways, so, okay, well, first of all, um, I, if you don't follow me on Twitter, um, uh, which nobody does, <laughs> so, um, I had ordered, um, an astrology, uh, natal chart reading, um, from, literally like the only psychic that I follow and that I listen to, um, uh, Sloan Bella, if you don't know who that is, go and, you know, watch her channel because she is very, um, a hundred, not a hundred percent accurate. Okay. Cause no, anyways, um, she is, you know, just a wonderful person and, um, she is a real psychic. Okay. Um, and she, I, I, uh, bought a natal chart reading from her and it was pretty, I mean, everything she said was pretty accurate. I think there was like one or two things I didn't agree with, but for the, I mean, th th that was just little tiny things, you know, for the most part, it was a wonderful, wonderful, worth the money. Um, just a wonderful, really cool thing. Um, I don't know, like if you, I don't know, I just feel like saying this, if you ever, want like she does um she does other types of readings too that you can buy but the natal chart that like astrology is like her specialty okay um and she's wonderful at it so anyways thank you um you know i i said i shouted her out on twitter too but i just felt like saying that right now anyways um so i want to talk about really quick um i i might be able to pick up more but i wanted to record this now just because it's fresh in my head um it, it popped back into my energy when i was driving right now to get my daughter something to eat for breakfast. So about a year ago, almost a year ago now, no, I can't remember how long it's been. Um, I picked up the energy, okay, of Lacey Peterson, okay? And what I picked up was of her, she walked into my energy, okay? Um, on the other side, like in it, right? A different dimension where you go, when horrific things happen to you, okay? You just go to a place that is very similar here to on earth, okay? It looks the same. It The energy is different. There is no time, but it's very, it's, it's like a mirror to here, okay? But without the pulled down energy, okay? But when people are horrifically murdered, like this poor woman, um, they get stuck and they, anyways, um, I picked her energy up, right? She came into my energy and the image that I saw of her was she was all bloody on the hands. Okay, she had blood all over her and she was holding a baby. The baby was all blood, blood, okay? Um, and she was crying, right? Holding this child and begging me for help. So I let her in. Okay, and this isn't, okay, this is something that I did on, right? This is how, how can I explain this so it makes sense? This is gonna sound nutty if you're not open to stuff like this, but, right, I let her into my energy and, right, the way that I see it in my head, okay, is like I have a store, right? Think of it as like, and I've talked about this before way back on my channel, okay? Um, it's, it's almost like on that side, right, on right? When you cross out of your body, you go to a different dimension like this. And over there, okay, I have whatever you want to, however you want to view it, like a store, a shop, okay? But what that store and shop is, is me. It's my energy, okay? And what people do is they try to come in and I can control who comes in and who cannot come in, okay? And this poor woman came running in to my store, okay, into my energy, very obviously distraught, holding blood all over, all over her hands and holding her child. And I let her in. And what I did was I took her to the back, right? The back of my energy. And I put her in a room, like a closet almost, okay? Like, think of it as like, okay, right, you work at a convenience store and you go to the back to get a mop and bucket, mop and bucket, um, sorry. Um, 
right? You keep that, right? If you've ever worked at, you know, a convenience store, a Starbucks, um, places like that, you know, you, you usually have like a utility closet, right? That you keep that stuff in. Um, and that's what I did with her. But in this, right in this small closet utility room looking thing, um, there was a bed, um, and just somewhere for her to sit and calm down. Okay. And this was, again, this was way back, um, months and months and months ago when I did this. Okay. And I have not, I just left it. Okay. She's still okay. In my energy. Okay. Just because I go and do other things, time is not the same over there. So to her, it, she's still in there, right. With her child, but it might seem, you know, maybe a few minutes have passed when it's been almost a year over here. Okay. For me, 10 months. Okay. So what I saw right now when I was driving, first off, that fucking creep monster, fucking monster, um, he reminds me of someone that I had a, a fling with for like a month, some stupid, the, the, it's the, simil, the energy is similar and I ignored all the red flags with this fucker, um, thought he was the shit had a ton of women he was dating behind, you know, presented to me like, oh, I really like you. I want to date you. But no, he was talking to all types of chicks, um, just was. And uh, the things he did and said now were very bizarre. And he gave me now looking back, right? Because I thought about this months ago. Uh, serial killer vibes, okay? His energy, this fucker I dated, um, I didn't date him. I, you know, messed around with him for a month. Um, his energy, that's what I was pulled to think of when I focused, when I focused on uh, Scott Peterson's energy. Um, if this man had not con been convicted of this crime, he is in pr he he is in prison, rightfully so. He no, he he's still trying, right? Oh, he didn't do it. Yeah, he fucking did. He's right where he needs to be. Um, his energy is very similar to this man, uh, that man, but this weirdo that I dated, um, who gave me serial killer vibes. If he had not been caught for this and convicted of this crime for killing his poor wife and son, um, he would have done it again. Okay. And I would not be surprised. There are, if there are other victims out there, other missing women who their bodies have never been found, just disappeared. Right? I, yes. Yes, he's done this before. Serial killer, this creeper. Creep is serial killer. Anyways, so the image that I saw, I see her, right? She did, people saw her walking the dog, right? And people wonder, oh, did she get kidnapped? Because the dog, right, came home without her. I specifically can see her, okay? Walking, yes, she did walk her dog that morning. But I see her come back into her yard. And I don't know if, again, I, I haven't looked at anything. I don't look at shit, okay? I see her come in. There was a sliding glass door. I see her come in. <clears throat> the dog... I see her open the door. She leaves it open, okay? And the dog is just kind of comes in and out, right? The leash is still on the dog. She didn't take the leash off. I see her sit down in a chair at in the kitchen at a at a island, a breakfast bar type thing. And right, the dog is just kind of going around, um, but she didn't take the leash off. This fucker. <clears throat> Hold on. So some sometimes when I speak, right when I pick something up and I and I talk through it. Hmm. His okay. He did not want this child. He acted like he did in front of people, but behind the scenes, when they were alone at home, he was uninterested he was not interested he was cold she she could she okay it reminds me too of how my 
uh, father, or not my father, my baby's dad, my daughter's father acted towards me. Uh, and I would not be surprised if behind the scenes he was telling poor Lacey that you fucking cheated. That's not my kid. Go back and forth. The weird energy like, oh, okay, yeah, I want, oh, you know. Uh, but then five minutes later, that's not my kid. You fucking cheated. Um, I, I, I feel a sense of, yeah, just totally uninterested, right? And I feel like before she was murdered, the night before, a couple days before, she was trying to show him things. I see her holding up outfits and just getting him interest, trying to get him interested, okay? And I see him sitting on a couch like this, staring at the TV, not acknowledging her at all. And she's trying to get his attention. And he is just so, I pissed off, not, doesn't want nothing to do with it. Nothing. Couldn't care less. And, you know, this was an ongoing theme throughout their marriage and throughout the pregnancy. Okay. He did not want it, but he would and it would confuse her okay because when they would go out in public and around fa friends and family he was he was so different okay and she was confused by she was starting to wake up and see okay during her pregnancy his his other side his mask okay the mask that he wore in public and presented himself the way he presented himself to people. She didn't see that before, okay? Because his true colors were starting to show and come out while she was pregnant because he did not want that child. He wanted to, he didn't want that responsibility, okay? It, it was too much. He wanted to, yeah, okay, the marriage was something for him to appear perfect, right? But he didn't want the child, really. He didn't want he didn't care about, he, it, it was too much, right? The money, whatever he was worried about, um, it, you know, the, the whole marriage was just a, a, a front for him to show people, look, I'm a married man. I'm, you know, you went, but the whole time. And I, and I believe I too, I strongly pick up that, that poor Amber, Amber Fry, what's her name? Um, that wasn't the only woman that was not the only woman. And thank God she uh, you know, figured it out and what, I can't even remember how that happened, but, uh, because he probably would have fucking killed her too. Um, anyways, so right, not interested, just, okay. And just mean, nasty, bitter towards her in private. And <clears throat> I want to say drinking was maybe more of a heavily thing for him. Um, and I feel like when she was pregnant, because she could not, you know, have a couple glasses of wine every night, drink, you know, not a problem at all. But I feel like that was something that they did together to, you know, like unwind, whatever. But what that alcohol was doing was blocking her judgment and not making her see him clearly. Okay. So when she got pregnant, she cut, you know, of course, you don't drink, you don't, you know, and what that helped her do was to open it, open her mind, her third eye, right? Open her up and unveil what she was not picking up before, okay? Because again, you don't have to be a, a raging alcoholic to, you know, block, to be, uh, how do I put this, right? You, you have a couple glasses of wine every night. Um, you don't get totally wasted or anything, you know, or you, you drink on the weekends. And what it does is cl it still clouds your energy and clouds your judgment. Okay. Even two days later when you think, well, I haven't had, you know, I'm sober, you know, I haven't been drinking and you know, that's only on the weekend. What it does is mud, muddy your energy. So you cannot see people clearly. Okay. And again, when she stopped, you know, all together, no alcohol, cause you're pregnant. She started to see him for who he was. And he could pick that up and that enraged him. He could not hide from her anymore. So I see him, right? She's just sitting in this kitchen, just sitting, eating, whatever. I see the dog running around the door. The sliding glass door is open and I see him out of nowhere, out of nowhere. He comes up and starts to stab her. 
and I see her putting her hands up. She's screaming. I don't usually see stuff like this, but for whatever, it's because, not for whatever reason, because she came into my energy and I am, in a way, helping her. And she's been there for months, months and months and months in my energy. And so I, she is slowly remembering what happened to her, okay? And it's hard. This is was horrific. She's sitting in this chair and he just comes out of nowhere, okay? This wasn't, I want to say, yes, premeditated in a way, but I feel like he was so enraged in that moment. It was premeditated. I feel like this, he did think of this, but he was, okay, but at the same time, it was an act of in the moment, okay? And... You know, I, I can see and hear her screaming. She's putting her arms up, okay? And he's just taking out all his hate, rage, and anger on this poor woman and her unborn child. Um, the dog runs out the sliding glass door, okay? Because and I, I hear it barking trying to bite at him at his feet, okay? And what he did was kick the dog in the face. He kicked, right? Kicked the dog so severely that I hear the dog scream, yelp, and it got so scared it ran out the siding glass door and it ran out the yard. Mm. She is with her child. She has her child, okay? You know, I just, I can't even, uh, like, fathom being viciously attacked like that. And, you know, his fucking bullshit trying to appeal whatever in the fuck I think he was doing a few months back. He's where he needs to be and he will stay there for the rest of his life until he fucking, until he crosses over and has to fucking deal with whatever he has to fucking deal with. Um, spirits, angels, however you want to look at that, they are heavily protecting the situation to make sure that he never finds any type of loophole. It's never going to happen, okay, because he is where he needs to be. For what he did and what he did to other women because i am picking up there are there are uh, there is one two there is someone some some there are other women out there that i believe he is responsible for their murders why anyways i don't know about that um I'm going to stop right there because I got to, uh, if I can see and pick up anything else, I mean, I think for me, that's pretty, I don't know if I will. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Um, she right now, again, is with her son and she's slowly acknowledging what happened. They are together though. Okay. And whenever she feels the right, whenever she heals from this, she will be able to come back um, <clears throat> if she chooses. And she will be in, with her son in another life and get to experience the the, the true, the real experience that she missed out on, okay, that was stolen from her, um, from a fucking monster. So they will have another lifetime to actually do and get to be together in the physical world and have, and it will be the right way with the right person. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop. Mm. Thank you. I, I don't usually say this. I'm not good with like expressing myself like this. I don't know. But 
thank you for watching. Um, and I don't, I've never said this before either, but if you like what I talk about, I guess subscribe. Okay. Ugh, that feels weird. That's gross. Okay. I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to beg for people. Oh, subscribe to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I guess subscribe to me if you want, if you want, do you want, you want to No. Okay. Okay. Bye.